Let me show you how you can change the listening port for the Apache web server. I'll demonstrate on Ubuntu Server 18.10, but we'll also give indications on how the process is done on Red Hat and Fedora type servers. The first thing we'll do is add to the default listening Apache port. To do this, log into your Linux server and issue one of the following commands. For Ubuntu Debian based servers, sudo nano slash etsy slash apache2 slash ports.conf. For Red Hat based servers, sudo nano slash etsy slash httpd slash conf slash httpd.conf. In the now open file, add listen8081 under the listen80 line. Save and close the file. Next, open the virtual host file with the command sudo nano slash etsy slash apache slash sites dash enabled slash 000 dash default dot conf. For Red Hat based systems, the virtual host files are found in slash etsy slash httpd slash conf dot d. At the top of the file, you'll see the beginning of the directive less than virtual host star colon 80 greater than. Change that line to less than virtual host star colon 8081 greater than. Save and close the file. Restart Apache with the command sudo system control restart Apache 2 or for Red Hat based systems sudo system control restart httpd. You should now be able to point a browser to http colon slash slash server ip colon 8081 to see the Apache welcome site or the welcome page of your virtual host. If your distribution of choice is Red Hat based, in order for Apache to link to the new port, you must first install the Policy Core Utils application. Install the software with the command sudo yum install Policy Core Utils. Once the software is installed, Add the new SE Linux rules for port 8081 with the following commands. sudo se manage port a t http underscore port underscore t dash p tcp 8081. sudo se manage port dash m dash t http underscore port underscore t dash p tcp 8081. After running the above commands, restart Apache with the command sudo system control restart httpd. Hey everybody! Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our Tech Republic YouTube channel. And be sure to check out more how-to videos at How to Make Tech Work.